hello my awesome scorpios i missed you scorpio happy friday to you i hope you're gonna have a beautiful relaxing weekend scorpio and if you do have to work uh, please find some leisure time for yourself to relax uh, that you are deserving so scorpio uh, i'm excited about the weekend very excited for us you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, Scorpio. What you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Scorpio? Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio, for Scorpio's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in the light. And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Scorpio in the life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one is showing up very strongly as extra message for you. Very important. This is nice energy to describe you all. Oh, you're missing your soulmate. You feel alone. You feel sad. But look how beautiful your energy is, Scorpio, whether you're male or female. You're showing up as very grounded, uh, with high standards, um, dealing well with your job or business, like you are very independent, strong-willed person, but you feel alone, sad. This is maybe you're missing your soulmate. You're not with the soulmate right now. So if somebody were to ask you if you're in a relationship at this time, you would say no. Yeah. Oh, this is you heartbroken. You feel very heartbroken, but you're hiding it well. This is you not showing people around you how deeply heartbroken you feel sad. I'm so sorry you're going through so much. This is hard. Yeah. You're trying to distract your mind uh, from this sadness you've been feeling, this emptiness you've been feeling, uh, this disappointment. You've been trying to distract your mind with your job or business. You're doing well at your job or business, but be careful. Some of the people view you as very good at what you do and are jealous towards you. So you know what that means. When people are jealous, that means you're doing something right. Continue doing what you've been doing. Continue being passionate and proactive. Yeah, also don't let people drag you into the uh, gossip circles at your job. Stay clear of gossipers, instigators. Yeah, people who bring drama in for everybody else to be involved. Yeah, you let your soulmate go. So this is you. You walked away from this relationship. Uh, you've been through some kind of betrayal in this relationship. You felt betrayed and you had no choice but to release the relationship, at least for time being. Universe, yeah, you felt like this person didn't meet you halfway, didn't show you love, didn't offer a solid commitment, whether they couldn't or were scared to. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, you see, look at this. So you went through some kind of betrayal in your life. Like you, you see very clearly that there are people in your life that are not authentic, that are draining you, exhausting you, yeah, deceiving you, whether it's toxic relatives, and we all have them, right? Uh, or fake friends or co-workers. You see very clearly who your friends are and who authentic people are in your life and who fake people are in your life. Aha, uh -huh. your soulmate is missing you a lot, but they have very hard time expressing emotions they have hard time um, admitting to their mistakes and apologizing they don't like to initiate communication they don't like to show they are emotionally vulnerable when you let them go you said something to them that hurt their ego very deeply but you were honest you were uh, direct you didn't sugarcoat and they didn't like hearing it but the reason why they feel so hurt and heartbroken is because you told the truth you didn't sugarcoat they deeply regret losing you. This person is deeply regretting losing you. 
Yeah, this is you trying to concentrate on your job, business, money, health. Yeah, you are quiet, silent. You are purposely not reaching out to your soulmate. Yeah, you feel devastated. You feel unloved, unappreciated. Hmm. This was a serious relationship. Whether the two of you were planning to get married, were living together, or were engaged or married, this was a serious connection relationship. A lot of you are dealing with another Scorpio, Aries, Libra, Aquarius, and Taurus. And Cancerian. Wow. You feel, yeah, you felt empty, unappreciated, unloved. You felt like you were the only one in this relationship. Yeah. This person deeply regrets uh, losing you. They do. But their back is turned towards this energy, which shows me that, and because they're showing up as emperor with five of swords in front of them, shows me that this person has very hard time um, expressing uh, emotions and uh, admitting to mistakes, apologizing for their mistakes. You want to move on with your life yeah this is you you're going to be celebrating something to do with your accomplishment or accomplishments at your job or business you're going to be celebrating something yeah money coming in profit coming in due to your diligent work your persistence yeah your wise decision making you are very grounded you are very uh, consistent so it's important that you only surround yourself with people who are positive yeah who who are not draining you yeah who are not bringing chaos and confusion into your life yeah uh, don't allow n negative chaotic people who bring drama in to surround you because they will drain you yeah whether it's toxic yeah i see you're very guarded with your heart for obviously right reasons this is you very guarded, careful who you trust. You see, this is you having great wisdom and intuition. You see very clearly who authentic people are in your life and who fake people are in your life. Universe, please show us. Hmm. A lot of you are dealing with Gemini also. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey. A lot of you are dealing with Aries because Emperor uh, signifies the sign of Aries specifically. Who is this new person entering your life? I love your new soulmate's energy. King of Pentacles happens to be my favorite court card when it comes to love readings. King of Pentacles represents a person, man or woman, any astrological sign, represents a person who is consistent, stable, grounded, reliable, marriage material, who initiates communication who's not scared to express emotions make a commitment you see somebody who's gonna be um monogamous who's not gonna be running around yeah wow this is you you really are releasing the past scorpio oh who's this other soulmate so you have people coming towards you but i love these are my two favorite court cards my two favorite kings king of pentacles king of wands People looking at you, interested in you, you see, for some kind of relationship, lovers underneath. This is you meeting new people face to face. You see, that's the only good way of meeting new people. None of that online nonsense. Face to face meetings, face to face communication, you see. Beautiful. Uh, you are meeting new people. Yeah. Um, but because you have free will, uh, just like everybody else does, to decide who you want, don't want, you'll be able to determine through your free will actions who stays in your life, who you want to have relationship with, who you want to keep as friend. And of course, their free will will determine that partially as well. But we all have free will to decide who we want or don't want in our life. Yeah. Let's see, Scorpio, what's going on with this soulmate of yours that you released recently? Let go of that showed up as emperor universe please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of scorpio and how is the soulmate of scorpio towards scorpio at this time universe please show us 
what's going on currently with the soulmate of Scorpio that showed up as Emperor? And how is the soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time? Uh huh. This one is trying to hide from me. Let's see. Yeah. So this person realizes why they lost you. They see very clearly that they were not consistent in your life. This is my least favorite night, night of wands, representing energy of a person who is in and out, in and out, in and out of your life, not making a commitment that's solid, not expressing emotions, um, avoiding communication, not, not um, being in your life, not telling you where you stand, where this is going or not going. Yeah. Yeah. You see, look at this. A lot of stress, chaos, disagreements, fights, misunderstandings. Yeah. Wow. And your energy, again, is beautiful. Showing up here as Queen of Pentacles again. You see, your energy is on point. So this person did not meet you halfway, did not reciprocate. And because their back is turned towards you, it means they didn't listen to your concerns, to warning signs. You see, they didn't listen. Yeah, you see, they just kept doing what they've been doing. They didn't listen to your concerns. Yeah, this person is scared that they lost you for good. This is them feeling deep emotions for you, deep feelings and being scared of feeling such deep feelings because they can't control them. They can't just shut them off. Um, this person doesn't like to feel so emotionally vulnerable. Yeah, they don't like to feel so connected to someone emotionally. You see, it scares them to feel such deep, intense emotions. Who is this new person? So, new soulmate. Somebody's interested in you. Yeah, somebody's interested in you. But somehow, this new soulmate, again, uh, king of wands. I love kings. This is who you want to deal with, kings and queens, not knights and pages. Knights and pages can't offer relationship that's reciprocal, that's healthy, right? Kings and queens can. You see, this new soulmate is matching your energy. You have queen energy. They have king energy. They could be either gender. You could be either gender. It's all good. Um, but somehow this new person that's observing you, interested in you, uh, either senses or knows that you're going through something that was difficult for you to deal with and uh, you still have unresolved uh, things uh, that you feel are not over like you you feel you need some kind of closure let's see what's going on here you know please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of scorpio and how is the soulmate of scorpio towards scorpio at this time Yeah, I see. They're missing you a lot. They feel empty without you. They realize that they can't just come back with empty words, that they have to prove themselves to you if they want uh, for you to listen to their concerns or give them another chance. They know. You are very intuitive, very psychic. Yeah, this person knows they can't just give you empty words. Yeah, you're very discerning, very intelligent, very psychic, wise, you see. You see what's going on around you. Ah, justice showing up here. Beautiful. Justice will prevail. So there are some people in your life that are creating chaos for you. You see, whether it's toxic relatives, uh, friends, fake friends, coworkers, neighbors, whoever. And people who do that, people who hide things from you will have to deal with karmic repercussions. You see, karma is being created when people do things that affect other people in a negative way they really create karma for themselves that they're going to have to balance so whoever these people are that are creating chaos in your life and trying to blame you or drag you in they're going to have to deal with karmic repercussions for their behavior yeah karma works in that way yeah we all have karma to balance that's why whenever i want to do something i first think to myself wait a minute how will my actions affect people around me will they affect them negatively or positively and i if the first 
uh, feeling is negative, then it know, I know right away I can't do it because I will hurt others, which I don't want to do. And I definitely don't want to create karma for myself. I want to balance the karma I have now so I don't have to come back here over and over and over and over again, lifetime after lifetime in more drama each lifetime. No, I want to learn my lessons and be done with, uh, yeah, ascend spiritually for good. Universe, please show us this person of yours that wants to come back to you, but they have too much pride to admit their mistakes, apologize, show you that they are emotionally vulnerable, that they need you. Uh, they in love with you, you see, but their love is hidden. It scares them to feel such deep emotional attachment to someone where they can't control their feelings. They can't just switch it off. Uh, they feel emotionally vulnerable. They do love you. They do. They want to, yeah, they want to reunite with you and reconcile with you. That's what they really want. Look how strong you are. You are very strong. Yeah, look at this. So you see very clearly who your enemies are, who your friends are, who authentic people are in your life. You know who you need to stay away from. You see it very clearly. Yeah, you see, you're walking away from toxic people. Some of those people will be difficult for you to let go of for good because they may be family members or friends that you've been friends with for God knows how many decades, years. Um, Remember, as long as people are toxic, bringing you drama, chaos, draining you, uh, they don't belong in your life. Yeah, you can always revisit their relationship or relationships to see if they've improved. But if they continuously toxic, chaotic, you can't be in their life because they will drain you. Yeah, they will exhaust you, drain you, make you even doubt yourself and sometimes even blame you for things you're not responsible for. So when you have highly vibrational energy that you're holding here, right, you have to be very selective who you hang out with. Yeah. Who you call your friends, right? Yeah. You have to be very picky and selective. Oh my goodness. This person's hoping that they're not able to let you go. They uh, tried. They, I should say the ego, Scorpio, tried to completely release you and they're not able to. They weren't successful because they love you. Their heart is not letting you go. A lot of you are dealing with Libra, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person's not able to let you go. They love you a lot. Yeah, they do. They love you a lot, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on here. So you have some kind of admirer on the side. Let's see. Universe, please show us uh, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Scorpio. And how is the soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time? Yeah, somebody is looking at you, observing you. Your soulmate who wants to return to you. Um, it's concerned that if they take too long that somebody else is going to offer you love or relationship. Yeah, they want to reconcile with you so uh, you're not in a relationship with somebody else. You are manifesting this new soulmate. I don't know if you realize it, but you are manifesting the new soulmate. How? By realizing that you deserve much better than what you were dealing with. You are releasing toxic people, situations, connections, relationships, and making room for positive new energy to reach you. Blessings to enter your life. Yeah. You're holding on to those high standards. Yeah. You know that you deserve a relationship that's healthy, that's reciprocal, where the person uh, admits to their feelings, tells you how they... Uh, planning to be with you, makes commitment, communicates effectively, listens to your concerns, right? We're going to go into your extended reading and ask about both soulmates that showed up. So first, we're going to ask about the person that wants to return to you for communication, to make amends with you. We're going to ask about their true long-term intentions and plans for you, what they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this current soulmate 
connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate or soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. You see, here you are, Empress, very high standards, integrity, yeah, major changes coming to your life. Wow, new soulmate showing up again. So twice, new soulmate showing up as king of pentacles and another soulmate showing up, uh, another new soulmate showing up as king of wands twice. Wow. Yeah, you are surrounding yourself with more positive energy and people. So uh, Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video and I'll see you there. Love you guys.